show you a few pictures. Uh, this is my wife and I in Israel up on uh, Masada. You can see the Dead Sea in the background. That's the Israeli flag and uh, just showed that to the kids. I've uh, kind of gone over Jerusalem, the skyline of Jerusalem, and I told them a lot about the city of Jerusalem and some different places there. I uh, told them about the, uh, the, uh, the, the place called Qumran on Monday. Uh, we learned about the Dead Sea Scrolls and that discovery back in 1947. And uh, I had a little clay jar with a scroll in it. And I explained to them about how cool it was uh, that we made that discovery. And that actually a young boy uh, is the one that threw the rock into the cave and, and began the discovery of that. On Tuesday, we looked at the Pool of Siloam. It's in John chapter 9 where uh, Jesus told a blind man, put mud on your eyes and then go and wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. And so we looked at that story on Tuesday. On Wednesday, these are the steps that are going up to a Caiaphas's house. Now Caiaphas was the high priest at the time that Jesus was arrested. And so Jesus was taken and placed in the dungeon uh, in a prison type area uh, before, of course, he went on trial. Yesterday, uh, I showed them this picture. A lot of history here, I won't get into a lot of it. This is a picture of a place uh, that uh, is a possible site of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. We know the Bible says that it's a Golgotha, the place of the skull, and this is a place that you visit uh, when you go to Jerusalem. Of course, the Bible says that Jesus died on the cross, he was buried in the grave, and then we celebrate every Easter that he rose from the grave. And this is a place in Jerusalem called the Garden Tomb. Uh, we don't know that it's the place, but it certainly gives you a picture of what it was like and the scene and everything that uh, was around the tomb described in the Bible. It certainly gives you a picture of uh, what it was like when Jesus rose from the grave. Now, parents, when you came in uh, today, you were given a VBS 2021 parent guide uh, wave those at me if you have them out there. Let me see them. Okay, you got them. Uh, take that with you. And uh, this is a really good uh, piece of literature uh, that just kind of gives you a review of everything that we looked at each day. It gives you a family activity to do together to review the lessons uh, that the children uh, have been taught. And uh, it really would be a, a supplemental piece, if you will, uh, for uh, what all the kids have learned this week and all the places that we've visited. We want to say thank you for letting your kids hang out with us. We had about 130 on this campus, about 140 to 50 in Alberta. So we're doing uh, this at night as well over at our other campus. And we are honored that you would trust us this week uh, to let your kids come hang out with us. And we hope that uh, they're excited about the Lord, excited about the Bible, and they're learning things that are helping them along in their journey of faith. Pastor John Vickers is our next generation's pastor. He oversees all student ministries, and so he's going to say a word. Again, we just like to say thank you for sending your kids to be with us this week. We've had a great time with them. They've learned a whole lot. Boys and girls, everything in the Bible is... True. They've been learning that. That's been a really amazing thing to see them looking at biblical truth and learning. If you came in, as you came in, you got uh, a, another sheet of paper that looks like this that says Point Kids across the top of it. And on there, just want to make you aware of what we do every single week with our kids and our children's ministry here at the church. Maybe you are new to the area. We, it's no secret people move in and out of the area all the time. This is an opportunity to let you know about what our kids are doing. On Sunday mornings, uh, we have nursery during both of our worship hours at 9 o'clock and at 1045. I was talking to one of my neighbors yesterday, and they said, what do you mean the child care is free on Sunday? I was like, absolutely, okay, maybe you've not been at the church in a while. But they are uh, excited about that. So we have nursery and preschool that meet during both of those hours. Uh, our four-year-olds or four-year-olds through the third grade, we have connect groups during the nine o'clock hour along this hallway to my left. They have classes that they meet in, and then in ten, at the ten forty-five hour, we have what we call super church, which is essentially kind of take a VBS type 
uh, time, uh, a day that's condensed into one hour that they do next door in DeVos Hall, which is that next building. On Wednesdays, we're not currently meeting for the rest of the summer, but in, on August the 18th, we're going to be back up. We'll have kids' activities on Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. We're excited about that. But one thing that's really important that I want you guys to know, it's no secret to us that there are uh, children who are at school during the school year. They have free and reduced lunch, and that's not available for them in the summer. We are doing something called Feed Perdido. So on Mondays uh, from June 14th through August the 2nd from 4 to 6, you can come by the Fellowship Hall next door to Bose Hall and you can pick up uh, boxes of food uh, for your kids or if you know of anyone who would be in need for that, you can direct them there. Again, that's on Mondays from 4 to 6 p.m. That's for any kids from birth to 18 years old. You can come by and you can pick up food and I don't think it even matters about how many kids are in there. You just let us know and we'll make sure that you get the right amount of food, okay? So the, that's enough with uh, housekeeping. I want to say a special thank you to all of our VBS workers and volunteers. If you worked with us this week, I want you to stand up in the room. There are so many VBS workers and volunteers, so much work that you've been They've been doing a great job this week. So we're going to make sure that we're able to see who they were. You guys can have a seat. Somebody else that I want to say a special thank you to is Miss Karen Dewher. She is our children's minister. Of months. This has been a really, really organized week. I want to say thank you for that. And Miss Karen is who works with our kids each and every week. So that's who you would see if you come and join us for Super Church. All right, who's ready for some water slides? your kid with their leader. We don't want children on the water slides before mom and dad know where they're at. So if you have a four and five year old, your kids those are right here. You can wave. Wave if you're four and five. If you have a first and second grader, they are over here. First and second graders wave at mom and dad so they know where you are. All right. If you are in third and fourth grade, raise your hands. Wave at mom and dad so they know where they are. All right. Fifth and sixth graders, wave at mom and dad so they know where It is time to find out who is getting a pie in the face. And I think Pastor Tim has that top secret information. So what we've done this week is we have been collecting money and all of it is going to go to an organization called One More Child. It's affiliated with the Florida Baptist Convention. And there's a lot of wonderful ministry going on in the state of Florida and literally around the world uh, through that ministry. We are so proud of the kids and all the work and the change. We've gotten everything from uh, Chuck E. Cheese arcade coins uh, to, uh, I'm not kidding about that either, uh, to foreign money, uh, all kinds of things we've gotten into offer this week. But nonetheless, I have the totals. I'm curious, how many of you think the girls won? How many of you think the boys won? I don't hear, I don't hear as much enthusiasm from the boys. All right, let's get real quiet, let's get real quiet, real quiet. It's got to be quiet before we announce the winner. That'd be real quiet. One of the groups gave 
$757. The other group gave $491 for a total of $1,248. Great job, great job, boys and girls. The winner, so let me get this straight. If the boys win, Miss Karen gets a pie. If the girls win, John gets a pie. So let's, let's announce the winner. Are you ready? Quiet, please. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. There we go, drum roll, drum roll. The winner of Vacation Bible School 2021 in the VBS offering is... Let's just announce it next year. Okay, 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 here we go. Ready? The winner is the... Well, give it up for Pastor John. He's going to take one for the team. John, how does it taste, brother? Kind of good? Kind of good? think that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair. That was that was Mr. Nick, Miss Karen's husband that did that. So he'll pay for that later. Alright. Let me have your attention and we're gonna pray. Let me have your attention, boys and girls. We're going to pray. Then we're going to go outside and have some fun. I need, you to get, I need you to get real still. Let's get real still. Got to be quiet. Got to be quiet. Got to be quiet. Still and quiet. We're going to pray. And I'm going to go ahead and ask the blessing on the food and for our afternoon. Remember what Miss Karen just said. Parents, if you would come to the teachers and uh, check your uh, child out, that will help us keep uh, accountability as we dismiss. Go outside and have a good time today. Again, thank you. Thank you for a great week and for letting us uh, minister to your children. Let's pray together. Bow your head. Let's pray. God, thank you. Thank you for this week. Thank you for watching over us and keeping us safe and giving us a fun week. Most importantly, thank you for all of the learning uh, that's taken place as the gospel of Jesus Christ as uh, the seeds of that has been planted in the hearts of these children. We pray that every one of them, uh, when they get old enough to understand what it means uh, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and, and confess their sin and, and ask Jesus into their life, that they'll do that. We pray for us as parents that we will uh, be models of faith and that we will follow the example of Jesus and uh, that we will teach our children day, morning, evening, and night the ways of the Lord and the teachings of the Holy Scriptures. Uh, God, uh, thank you again for just keeping this property safe this week. And as we go outside now and